Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for being my first audience. So, how does this work? Here we go. All right. So, uh, I am originally from the UK. I've lived in America for most of my life. And there you go. Okay. I've lived in America most of my life, but I'm originally from the UK. And uh, for the most part, this has been awesome. You know, I have two countries to call home. I love it. But there have definitely been some uh, cultural complications that have arisen and that I've had to grow up with. And there's one in particular I'd like to talk about. But before I do, I, I have to blatantly throw this out there. I've seen a lot of cocks growing up. <laughs> not in a gay way, not in a weird way. It happens. It, boyish horseplay. You're going to get flashed. <laughs> uh, you'll see your friend get the pants. Or even if it's just, you know, the fetal alcohol kid at recess, just playing with this 12.15 every day, just like clockwork, uh, <coughs> cockwork, excuse me. And, uh, so now that, I've, now that I've gotten that out there, uh, I started noticing early on, American cocks look so much different to mine. This guy over here referenced it, circumcision. Uh, you know, every country has its quirk, uh, quirks, you know. In my country, we've been called it tea. In your country, you mutilate your children's genitals at birth. <laughs> so, so growing up, I, I noticed that you guys' cocks look so much different to mine. And I, I didn't know about circumcision as a little boy. Uh, so I only have one way to solve this mystery in my head, and that is that it is a biological difference between Americans and Brits. And what a fucked up thing to think as a young boy. I mean... Surrounding, surrounded by all these strange, biologically different cocks in a strange land? What the hell? I mean, luckily, I'm a pretty stable guy, but that's the kind of thing that produces genocidal maniacs hellbent on eugenics. <laughs> uh, the Jews circumcised? What happened to them? Uh, uh, my, my first ever stand-up joke had to have a Holocaust reference, I'm sorry. Uh, kind of guy I am. But, uh, you know, we have our similarities, too. A lot of douchebags in both countries. <laughs> Lots of douchebags. Uh, two specific kind of douchebags that really get my blood boiling. Uh, guys who have sunglasses inside, Byron. Uh, <laughs> and people who use those motherfucking selfie sticks. I just can't handle either of those type of people. But, uh, apparently that isn't a legitimate defense when I'm on trial for assaulting a blind man. <laughs> I still don't see why they charged me, but he couldn't see anything, so I still came out the winner in my book. <laughs> uh, both my generation in both countries uh, has been very heavily influenced by this uh, rave culture. Uh, I'm not really about it. I've been to a couple, just gone shit-faced and gone to them, but uh, for the older crowd out there, uh, raves are where people my age go to do copious amount of drugs, flop around in flashing strobe lights, and fuck each other. And, you know, that's cool. I mean, I'm 21 years old. If you want to go ahead and do that and you're my age, go ahead. But even the generation under me are getting influenced by this rave culture. There are kids a decade younger than me doing it. And these raves go on to like 2 in the morning. They should be at home catching Z's, not STDs. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> MTV's next show is going to be Preteen Mom. <laughs> What sort of world do we live in that you can bang a MILF and start to register as a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of world is this, man? Oh, uh, shit. You know, by the time these kids get out of high school, by dropping out, you know, they're gonna have hepatitis A, B, and C, because they take too much D when they pop too much E, and they don't give an F as long as you find that G. Come on! <laughs> That blind guy I assaulted, if he was to finger one of these girls, he'd get to read a short story in the process. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He just didn't want his guide dog to be the only panning bitch in his life. <laughs> Ended up getting uh, syphilis, but you know, he did already have chlamydia. How do you think he got blind in the first place? <laughs> you guys know how to tell the difference between a negative Nancy and a Debbie Downer? <laughs> the extra chromosome. I 
have something else for you guys. Tur terrible! Terrible! I don't have something else for you. <laughs> oh, I did want to say one thing about your performance. Your mic's not Mike, okay. Mike, Mike, turn it back on. Mike, 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 turn your mic back on. Did I cut it off? Oh, on the bottom. On the bottom, on the bottom. On the bottom. It died. Oh, it's... Hello? There you go. There you go. Right. Woo! So, uh... He said, uh, passengers on the flight have, uh, no control over staying safe, but on United 93, they gave it a hell of a try. <laughs> uh, so, okay, one, one more thing to tell you guys. I just want to do, uh, talk about one of my, uh, heroes, personal heroes, uh, Rosa Parks. <laughs> Astounding woman. She really was. Uh, she wasn't just a civil rights activist. She was a patriot. She said, fuck you, society. I'm not moving, I'm staying here sitting on my ass. Is there anything more American than that? <laughs> oh. She took a stand while sitting down. Isn't that what everyone does on Facebook these days? <laughs> but in all seriousness, you know, her brave actions led her to be able to sit wherever she wanted for the rest of her life, wherever she pleased. But she was most pleased while sitting on my face. Thank you. <laughs>